What is going on everyone? Anthony Cofrancesco here from Data Dive, and in this video, I'll be answering a very common question, which is how do you use the keyword rank tracker inside a Data Dive? So in order to use Rank Radar, just go on the left-hand side of your screen and click on Rank Radar. Now, I've been tracking a bunch of products here, but if you're getting started for the first time, just click on the button in the top right-hand side, which is Add a Product to Rank Radar. What I'll do from there is I'll paste in my ASIN, and you'll see it just takes a minute for Data Dive to find my product, and then I'll select the correct marketplace, in this case it's the US, and then I also have to select my MKL, where this product came from. So this is one of our office hours examples, so I'm gonna type in OH here, and I can see we've got our cat tree office hours MKL. From there, I'll click start tracking. Now, I just started this tracking today, so that's why I only have one day of data here, but as each day passes, Data Dive is going to automatically find what my average organic rank is for all of these different keywords. You can see here that I'm currently tracking 246 keywords. Now, again, this is gonna be based off of what's in your MKL. So if you remove keywords from your master keyword list, they'll also be removed from your keyword rank tracker. But if you'd like to manually remove keywords that you're tracking, all you have to do is to click on this checkbox item on the left-hand side of the screen, and then click on this button to pause. This will move these keywords from your rank tracker into a pause keyword list, and of course, you can revert these at any time. Let's say for this example, this is a cat tree, that I'd like to remove any keyword that includes tower, because I don't want to track keywords. Mine is more of a cat tree instead of a cat tower. So I'll just type in tower here, and I can see there's 61 keywords that include the word tower, and I can click this checkbox in the top left-hand side, and I can actually bulk pause these. And so you're gonna see now these are gonna move from, these are gonna move from the keywords that I'm tracking, and again, they're gonna move into the paused list. One last feature that I'd like to highlight, pun intended, is the highlight tool. And so you can see here, I've got this keyword cat condo. Let's say I'm looking in my master keyword list or here on Rank Tracker, and I can see that I'm not even indexed for this keyword cat condo. So I go to my listing builder and I rewrite the listing to include cat condo in an exact match in the title. So what I can do is I can click on this checkbox on the left-hand side, I can click on the highlight button, and then I can put in a short description. So I'll say added cat condo to title, exact match. And then I can either add an additional description or I can just choose a testing window. So I'm gonna say start this today and then I'm gonna let this run for a week and then I'm gonna click add. What Data Dive will now do is it's gonna draw a box around this keyword and as the days go on and organic ranks are brought in, you'll see this for the entire testing window. If I would like to delete a highlight, I can just click on the highlight itself and then I can delete and it'll remove this from my view. So this is a very helpful tool to use as you're making optimizations to your listing and you wanna see how are the actions that you're taking impacting your organic rank. So that's where I'll wrap it up today. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.